Hello everyone. Let's learn this chapter trigonometry or introduction to trigonometry. The word trigonometry comes from Greek word the first part trigon or trignon meaning triangle and the second part metri or metron means measurement. So trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that studies relationships between side lengths and angles of a triangles or we can simply say it deals with the measurement of sides of a triangle and the angles let us take this triangle here a right angle triangle so this is 90 degree that is why it is nine uh, right angle triangle the side opposite to this 90 degree or the longest side is called the hypotenuse and the other two sides are called the perpendicular and the base. These angles that we see are the acute angles. And these angles can be represented by different letters or Greek letters that is alpha, beta, gamma, theta, etc. Sometimes we represent with A, B, C or English alphabets also. There are some applications here. GPS global positioning system ship navigation measurement of height and distances of different objects let us take this example of this beautiful building here if you want to measure the height of this building how would you do it either you need to have a big long tape and you need to climb up this wall then only you will be able to do it if you are a spider-man then you can do it but we know that it's impossible to climb up this wall so this is the height supposed to be found out and if you're standing here and if you know the distance from the base of this building to where you are standing you can easily use it use a tape and measure this distance and from here you can use some kind of device like a protector then you can measure the angle between the point here and the base of the ground suppose this is theta and if you know the ratios of trigonometry the relationship between the trigonometry function and the height and the uh, distance then you can easily find out the height of this particular building or any objects that you can find you can also find the height of different tree or a bird flying or something like that so we'll be dealing with lots of such kind of heights and distances of objects like that that we should know the relationship between the trigonometric function and the sides of a triangle let us take this triangle with a given angle theta we need to know these three sides that is opposite side or perpendicular adjacent side or base and the hypotenuse which is the longest side or the side opposite to 90 degree so whenever we are considering this angle the side opposite to the considered angle or the given angle is always the perpendicular or the opposite side of the triangle and where it is located it is located on this base so this is the adjacent side or the base of the triangle and the longest side or the side opposite to the right angle is called the hypotenuse so this is the hypotenuse of the triangle so opposite side can be represented as O that is perpendicular as P adjacent side as A and B as B and hypotenuse as H so OAH or PBH these are the three sides we need to consider let us take the same triangle but the angle is on the top now so which is the opposite side or the perpendicular the side 
opposite to the angle given is the opposite side and the perpendicular and the side on which the angle is formed is called the adjacent side or the piece and the longest side is the hypotenuse represented by h so whenever the angle changes or the position of the angle changes the position of perpendicular and the base change you need to keep this in mind only hypotenuse remains same so the trigonometric functions and the relationship between the sides of a triangle we have these six trigonometric function that is sine which is written short as sin and it is read as sine cosine or cos tangent or tan cosecant as cosec second as sec and cotangent as cot so these are the short forms written sin cos tan cosec sec and cot how do we remember the relationship between these trigonometric function and the sides of a triangle this mnemonic that will give us the relationship here. that is some people have curly brown hair tightly pulled back so some represents sine people represents the perpendicular and have represents the hypotenuse so sin theta is equals to perpendicular by hypotenuse curly represents cos brown represents base and hair represents the hypotenuse so we have cos theta equals to base by hypotenuse tightly represents tan pulled represents perpendicular back represents the base so tan theta is equals to perpendicular by base so this is one way of learning the relationship between the trigonometric function and the sides of a triangle that is sin theta equals to perpendicular by hypotenuse cos theta equals to base by hypotenuse tan theta equals to perpendicular by base or there's another one we need to remember so s o h that is sin theta equals to opposite by hypotenuse o represents opposite h represents hypotenuse ka c a h cos theta equals to adjacent by hypotenuse a represents adjacent h represents hypotenuse or toa t o a so we have tan theta is opposite by adjacent so either of this will be using to learn more about the trigonometric function and the size of a triangle so sin theta equals to p by h because perpendicular is p hypotenuse is h cosec theta equals to the reciprocal of sin theta or 1 by sin theta so if sin theta is p by h so cosec theta should be h by p cos theta equals to b by h that is b is by hypotenuse and sec theta is equals to the reciprocal of cos theta so we can write sec theta as h by b that is hypotenuse by b tan theta equals to p by b that is perpendicular by b so cot theta is equals to the reciprocal of tan theta that is 1 by tan theta or we can write cot theta as b by p or b is by perpendicular now we can know that from this that cosec theta sec theta cot theta are respectively the reciprocals of the ratios of sin theta cos theta and tan theta this yet another relationship here if i divide sin theta by cos theta we know that sin theta is b by h and cos theta is b by h so p by h by b by h we get 
So when a ratio is divided by another ratio, the lower ratio multiplies the upper ratio by reciprocating itself. So we have P by H into H by B. We have this hypotenuse of the same triangle, so they will cancel each other. So we'll be left with P by B. Now in our relationship, we see that tan theta equals to P by B, meaning that sin theta by cos theta can be written as tan theta or tan theta equals to sin theta by cos theta. We know that tan theta and cot theta, they are rela related and they are reciprocal to each other. So we can also write cot theta as cos theta by sin theta. So please remember this relationship, tan theta equals to sin theta by cos theta, cot theta equals to cos theta by sin theta. Later on, we will need this. So let us take this triangle having side 3, 4, and 5, and the vertices as A, B, and C, where B is on the right angle. The side opposite to this angle theta or A is called the perpendicular or the opposite side. So perpendicular opposite side, that is BC, equals to 3 units. The side on which the angle is formed is called the adjacent side or the base. So the base or adjacent side that is AB equals to 4 units. And the side opposite to the 90 degree or the longest side is called the hypotenuse which is equals to 5 units. So let us find the relationship or the ratios of the trigonometric functions. Sin theta equals to perpendicular by hypotenuse. So we have perpendicular as BC and hypotenuse as AC. So sin theta equals to 3 by 5. Cos theta equals to base by hypotenuse. So base is AB and hypotenuse again here we have AC. So cos theta equals to 4 by 5 after replacing AB the value of AB and AC. And tan theta equals to perpendicular by base. So perpendicular as BC and the base as AB. So when we replace the value of perpendicular and the base, tan theta we get as 3 by 4. So this is how we find out the ratios of trigonometric functions. Consider the same triangle ABC where the earlier the theta was at A, now is on C. So the opposite side changes, that is AB, will become the perpendicular, which is equals to 4 units. And BC becomes the B's, that is 3 units. And the longest side AC is the hypotenuse. It does not change. So let's see, sine theta equals to perpendicular by hypotenuse which is equals to AB by AC, so it is equals to 4 by 5. Cos theta equals to base by hypotenuse, which is equals to BC by AC, which is equals to 3 by 5. And tan theta equals to perpendicular by base, so AB by BC, that is equals to 4 by 3. So we see sine theta equals 4 by 5, cos theta equals 3 by 5, and tan theta equals 4 by 3. In the earlier one, we had sine theta as 3 by 5, cos theta as 4 by 5, and tan theta as 3 by 4. So you see that whenever the angle changes or the position of the angle changes, the value of this trigonometric function also changes or the trigonometric ratio also changes. Let us look at exercise 8.1, question 1 here. It's written, in triangle ABC, right angled at B, AB equals to 24 centimeter, BC equals to 7 centimeter, determine sine A cos A, number 2, sine C and 
cos c we need to find out the value of sin a cos a sin c cos c so before doing that let us construct this triangle abc where b is right angled so we have to have b on the right angle portion ab is 24 and bc is 7 cm now ac is unknown to us until we find out this third side we will not be able to find out the ratios so ac is unknown to us what do we do to find out this ac since it is right angle triangle you must have come across pythagoras theorem isn't it so we must follow this pythagoras theorem to find out the unknown side ac here we know that pythagoras says p square plus b square equals to a square or a square plus b square is equals to c square so using the value of perpendicular b's we can find out the hypotenuse so perpendicular is 7 and b is 24 so it becomes 7 square plus 24 square equals to ac square which is the hypotenuse 7 square is equals to 49 and 24 square equals to 576 so 49 plus 576 equals to 625 so when we do the square rooting on both sides we get ac equals to square root of 625 and the square root of 625 is 25 meaning the unknown portion ac is 25 centimeter so now we have found out all three sides of the triangle after that we can find out sin a cos a and sin c cos c sin a so the angle is a the side opposite to angle a is bc which equals 7 centimeter that will be the perpendicular and the side ab would be the adjacent side or the base so base is 24 centimeter and the side opposite to 90 degree or right angle is the hypotenuse that is ac 25 centimeter so we have sine a equals to 7 by 25 cos a equals to b by h because we have already found p b and h we can just replace value of b and h so cos a becomes 24 by 25 Now we need to find out sin c cos c we know that the angle has changed it has become c so the side opposite to angle c is perpendicular and side on which it is formed is the base 7 centimeter and hypotenuse remains the same that is 25 centimeter so sin c equals to p by h perpendicular by hypotenuse so perpendicular is 24 and hypotenuse 25 so sin c becomes 24 by 25 cos c equals to 7 by 25 so this is how we can find out the ratios of trigonometry the second question given 15 cot a equals to 8 find sin a and sec a so we have been given 15 cot a equals to 8 which can be further written as 8 by 15 after taking 15 towards the right hand side we know that cot a is equals to reciprocal of tan a and tan a equals to perpendicular by base so cot a is equals to base by perpendicular so when we compare base by perpendicular and the 8 by 15 we can get perpendicular as 15 base is 8 and hypotenuse still is missing we need to find out hypotenuse so we again use pythagoras theorem to find out hypotenuse we know that h square equals to p square plus b square so replacing the value of p and b 
we get h square equals to h square plus 15 square. 8 square is 64, 15 square is 225, and h equals to root over of 289. And square root of 289 is 17 unit. So we got p, b, and h, which is equals to 17 unit. So we need to find out sine a, and we know that sine a equals to perpendicular by hypotenuse. Replacing the value of perpendicular hypotenuse, we get sine a equals to 15 by 17. We need to find out sec a. We know that sec a is equals to the reciprocal of cos a, and we know cos a equals to b by h. So sec a is h by b. So we replace the value of h and b with the number we have here, that is 17 by 8. So these are the two ratios we are supposed to find out in this question. If angle A and angle B are acute angles such that cos A equals to cos B, then show that angle A equals to angle B. So let us consider this triangle ABC where C is at right angle because A and B are acute angles. So cos A is equals to b by h. Why I am considering cos a is because it is given that cos a equals to cos b. So from there I am trying to take out the relationship here. So cos a equals to b is by hypotenuse. So we have angle a. So the base would be ac and the hypotenuse will be ab. So cos a equals to ac by ab. Now, considering angle B, cos B equals to B by H again. So this is the angle B. So the base is BC and the hypotenuse is AC. So cos B becomes BC by AB. But we already know that cos A equals to cos B. So replacing cos A as the ratio here, that is cos A is AC by AB and cos B as BC by AB. We see in both sides the denominator are same. So we can cancel AB and AB. So we are left with AC equals to BC, which shows AC equals to BC on the triangle. And we very well know that angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So the angle opposite to AC is B and the angle opposite to BC is angle A. So we can write in place of AC as angle B and in place of BC as angle A. So we have angle B equals to angle A. That is what we are supposed to prove. So it is proved. Thank you for watching this video. I'll be continuing with another topic on the same chapter. Please keep watching.